multiply 4 because we use multiply in the place of times. Now I have colorful flowers. We put 3 flowers here. It became a group of 3 flowers. We put 3 more flowers here. Now they became 2 groups of 3 flowers. We put three more flowers here. Now they became three groups of three flowers. How many flowers do we have in each group? Three flowers. Students, let's see how many times we have been given three. One, two, three. Three times three. How do we write this? 3 multiply 3 because we use multiply in the place of times. Students, now I have some colorful pencils. We put 2 pencils here. It became a group of 2 pencils. We put 2 more pencils here. They became 2 groups of 2 pencils. We put Two more pencils here. They became three groups of two pencils. We put two pencils here. They became four groups of two pencils. We put two more pencils here. They became five groups of two pencils. We put two more pencils here. They became six groups of two pencils. Students, you know about groups. Now we have to learn to convert the addition into multiplication. Our first sum is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Let's see how many times we have been given 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7. 7 times 4. How do we write this? 7 multiply 4. Next sum is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Let's see how many times we have been given 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times 2. How do we write this? 5 multiply 2. Now let's see how many times we have been given 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times 3. How do we write this? Yes, 6 multiply 3. Let's see how many times we have been given 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 times 2. How do we write this? Yes, 7 times 2, 7 multiply 2. Now it's time for past related question. 
The question is which picture represents four groups of three balls each? Here we have four options. Let's find out the right option. In A option, we have four groups of two balls each. In B group, we have two groups of three balls and one group of two balls. In option C, we have four groups of three balls each. In option D, we have three groups of three balls each. So students, what is the right answer? Yes, C is the right answer because in option C, we have four groups of three balls each. Now, it's time for your homework. Open page number 81 from your maths book. Students, you know about groups. In first sum, we have to write about the groups and the number in the groups. Here, we have three groups and four balls in each group. So, we write three times four and three multiply four. The other portion have to be done in the same way. Next, we have to convert the addition into multiplication. We have been given 4 7 times. Means 7 multiply 4. The other questions we have to be done in the same way.